you know, I don't even want to comment about it, to be perfectly honest. All this talk of Governor Christie's mojo being back after the release of the report by Randy Mastro last week makes Senator Loretta Weinberg shake her head. What does that mean, being nasty to the press and, and people who ask him questions in town halls that he doesn't like? Some people might describe that as mojo. I'd say, yeah, the governor's back to uh, some of the original uh, uh, personality that might have gotten him into this trouble to begin with. Nonetheless, after the report cleared him of involvement in the GWB lane closure scheme, Christie has been making the rounds of network TV shows and even met with reporters for the first time in months. For you to characterize my last answer as, I didn't want to ask her because I didn't want to know, is so awful that it's beneath the job you hold. Meanwhile, the Democratic-led Joint Legislative Committee investigating the lane closures is scheduled to hold its first meeting since February on Tuesday, although Weinberg gave barely a hint of whom they may decide to subpoena next, like maybe other Port Authority people. Uh, who probably are not in, in a position to worry about taking the Fifth Amendment to protect themselves. It, it, so those people who were, like, involved in the, in the physical... <laughs> Closing of lanes. Yeah, and maybe even like a little above. Uh, maybe even even a little above that. But Republican committee member Holly Shapizi says the panel has pretty much the same evidence used in the Christie ordered Mastro report. And that even if a judge orders two former Christie staffers to provide them with documents, it's unlikely that they'll ever appear before the committee personally. I can't imagine that the AG's office or the U.S. Attorney's office isn't going to tell us to step aside because they're not going to want our legislative committee to be able to grant immunity from prosecution. And there is now growing interest in the cost of all this investigating to taxpayers. Published reports say the Mastro inquiry cost a million dollars and that the legislative committee has spent another quarter million, all taxpayer dollars. Shapizi says getting a handle on what taxpayers are actually getting for their money is among the questions she expects to bring up on Tuesday. Maybe we will be provided with updates as to where some of these items stand because it's been more than a month in some of these instances and we haven't gotten information. The governor's report, flawed as some may see it, is still as close to an official word on the scandal as there is. The onus is now on Democrats to come up with an alternative narrative using essentially the same information. In Bergen County, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.